Welcome back to channel one triple I'm here in today's video I'm going to quickly show you how to transfer your files and applications from your PC over to your Google TV device now this will not only work for Google TV but also if you have an Android TV device a Fi TV stick follow these steps and you should be able to do this in a matter of minutes so how is this useful let's say you're going on a trip and you just want to put some movies on it you can go ahead and do that if you want to download your apps your third-party apps on your PC then transfer it to your Fi TV stick or your Google TV or Android TV device that's another the option so so many use cases for this so we're not going to waste too much time if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell let's go Of course, for this, you are going to need a Google TV device or an Android TV or Fire TV stick. Today, I am demonstrating on on 4K Streaming Pro. Of course, this is on's newest streaming device. Definitely a must have. And if you haven't seen my full review on the on 4K Streaming Pro, definitely go ahead and check it out. And I'll pin it in the comments where you can go ahead and take a look. So what do you need to make this happen? You need a streaming device. You need a computer, of course, PC or Mac. So besides your streaming device, your PC, you are going to need this application. This is File Manager Pro plus guys so file manager plus not only a file manager but it also allows you to do a lot of different things not only can you get into your storage see your different areas but also you can add folders you can create folders you can delete files and of course you can install your apps directly from here so when you launch the application for the first time it, it might ask for permission to view the files in your device so for me this wasn't my first time launching it but i'll show you how to get to those permissions just in case it asks you or if you get to a place where you're viewing the folders and the folders seem to be empty. So, All right, so get to this, you're gonna go to your settings. You're gonna go to your apps, click on File Manager Plus. And if you go down, you're gonna see the permissions option. Click on that. All right, so where it says files and media, it says do not allow. You wanna go ahead and turn that on. Click on that. All right, so for this, you can allow to media only, you can allow to all files, whatever you prefer. You're gonna click allow, and let's go ahead and we'll go back in. Also, you wanna make sure your computer and the streaming device are on the same network. Let's go ahead and jump into the details. So first thing you're gonna need to do um, is decide where you wanna put the files that you're gonna be downloading. So as you can see, we have our main storage here, we have documents, we have videos. For me, I'm gonna put this in my download, so I'm gonna go to downloads. And within downloads, what I want to do is create a new folder. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the three lines on the top right. I'm going to hit new and I'm going to create a folder. So this one, I'm just going to call a test. And of course, feel free to name yours, whatever you like. All right. So now we have a test folder there. This is where I'm going to be dropping a download. So now we're going to go back home. So hopefully I'm not going too fast, but definitely feel free to pause the video if you need more time to do this. Uh, like I said, the first step is deciding where you want to put your, your transfers or your downloads. For me, I'm going to put it under downloads. Then I created a folder called test. But if you wanted to put it just anywhere, your downloads is there. You do have your documents folder as well. If you're doing videos, you can drop your videos directly in there. So whatever you decide to do. And the cool thing about this as well is that once you have these files transferred to whatever folder you decide, you can then go ahead and move them around. So a lot of flexibility. Also, if you want to see all your folders, if you go to main storage, you can go through all of your folders right here. So pretty cool. All right. So let's go back home. So now we're going to go all the way to the bottom where it says access from network. So click on that. Very important as well. Uh, you do have the option to generate random passwords. So if I go back in and start the service again, then the password should have changed. So that's one way to make sure that the same username and password is not being used. So just a layer of security right there. You can see it says access from network. This essentially is your FTP server, guys. So file transfer protocol folder. Um, what this basically is doing is turning your streaming device into a server, allowing you to access the files and folders from another device. So it gives you the FTP address right there. So basically that's the IP address of your device. 
gives you a port number, sort of 3534 is a port number, and it gives you a username and password. So this is information that you're gonna need at the next step that we're gonna go to. Uh, you're gonna need to put in that full address in your file explorer on your PC, and then it will prompt you for username and password. So let's go ahead and we'll switch over to the computer. All right, so here we are on the computer, and I'm gonna put it in just like it showed up on my actual on 4K. So I'm gonna type FTP colon, four slash four slash the IP address is one nine two one six eight one dot one thirty two and then we're going to put a colon and the port number on that is thirty five thirty four so exactly how it showed up on the device and I'll just show you guys there we'll switch back and forth and we're going to go ahead and hit enter so when you hit enter guys you are going to see this pop up um, this is where you put in your credentials. So remember the username on this was um, PC and the password on this is 626516. Yours may be a little bit different. PC is the username. I'm going to put 626516. And then I'm going to hit enter. So now you're going to see a folder called device. If you click on that, it will show you all the folders on your device. For me, remember that I had everything in my downloads. I had that test folder. That test folder is empty. So now it's as simple as drag and dropping. So to the right, I have a USB that I, I've been testing with. I have some files there on the USB. You can see I have IDA64. I have a drone footage right there, a mouse toggle, um, some videos there. So first, let me transfer a couple APKs. So I'm gonna transfer Ida 64, drag and drop. I'm gonna transfer 3D Mark. And you guys can see how fast all of this is going. I do have a drone footage that I wanna transfer as well. So this is a 4K footage. So you can see the details right here. 4096 by 2160. So hopefully that doesn't take up uh, too much space. And um, on the on 4K, currently it's only my default storage i don't have a usb drive connected so we'll see how it does all right so the total space on this look like it's 2.16 gigs so it's a pretty um large file um i do have a picture let me just drag this over here that shouldn't take too long and that's basically it now we can go back to our actual streaming device and we're going to go ahead and stop the service all right so now if i go back in I can go to my main storage or I can go to downloads, does that are frequently used. All right, you can see I have the test folder. Now I have four items in here. So everything showed up. You can see I have the download. So this is just a sling picture that I had downloaded. Nothing too special about that. We do have a 3D mark. Let me see if I can go ahead and install that. All right, so another thing that I'm glad that this popped up, you need to make sure that whatever app you use and does have the ability to install third-party applications. And then um, this will pop up if it doesn't have access, but let's go ahead and go through the process. We're just gonna click on settings. All right, it's gonna list all the apps that's able to install third-party apps on your device. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna find File Manager Plus, turn that on. All right, so it looks like 3D Mark is right there. It's just one to update. You can see it's now installed in 3D Mark. As soon as I allowed File Manager Plus to um, have the ability to install third party applications. So 3D Mark is up and running. Not going to go ahead and launch it. And the only thing I find is that sometimes you have to go back to that main folder, go back in. So 3D Mark is there. ID64 will work as well. But we do have this large 4K file. And let's see how that reacts once I go ahead and play it. All right, so got to hit play button. You can see, looks really good. Of course, this is a 4K device. Let's see if I can skip ahead. I can skip ahead. Give it a second. That's the old house, so looks really good, guys. So let's go back out again. And we'll go back to the downloads folder. So now that we have all these we have our movies, so in this case, it's going to be the DJI footage. If I do a long press on it, I do have a couple options. So I can copy this, 
So if I want to copy and paste it somewhere else, I have that option. I can move it. So if I want to move it to a different folder, so let's say I wanted to move it. And let's go back to here. I will just want to put in a downloader folder. Let's put it there. We'll paste it there. And you can see it immediately moved it to that folder. Let's go back. Now you can see I only have three items in here. Uh, let's do another long press so I can move it. I can rename it. I can delete it. If you hit more, you can see I bookmark, press, open with a certain player or viewer. So you have a lot of options there. So again, easy way to transfer your, your APKs, your videos, your audio to this. So easy way to, to transfer your files, install your applications from your PC. If you're going on the road, just want to take a couple movies with you or something, easily transfer. You can put your images on here, whether you want to use them as a background or anything else. Those options are there. You can see it automatically um, just kind of organizes everything for you. Really big fan of this application. To me, it's better than the Explore File Explorer, which Explore does have similar features. However, if you were to do the FTP server on Explore, it only allows read access for the free version. So you won't be able to copy and delete files and folders and so on and so forth um, with Explore File Explorer. Same thing with this guy right here. This is a great file explorer. However, there's no FTP server on there. So, so the best file manager, in my opinion, is file manager plus so so in the comments let me know what you guys think if you have any questions drop them down there as well if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell also don't forget to check out the on 4k streaming pro full review i'll go ahead and link that in the description thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one